60 years ago, he led thousands demanding jobs and freedom. New Mexicans joining in support today. Reporter Alyssa Munoz is here with us in studio. And Alyssa, you spoke with people who attended today's march in Albuquerque. Sasha, in light of the anniversary, there was a march here in Albuquerque this morning at Faith Temple Church. And one woman we spoke to says this is something her family has always advocated for. I come from a family of civil rights activists. My father and my brother are dead. So it's up to me to carry on. Haya Ross is one of the co-chairs on the planning committee for the event. She says her father marched with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in Chicago, and her brother worked on the march in Washington. Ross marched at this event to continue to fight for issues that still happen today. I still think that not only didn't we accomplish everything in 1963 and the following years, but we do have a lot of backsliding with um, voters being thrown off the voting list and other kinds of voter suppression. New Mexico is way ahead of some other states, but I think it's important to have marches across the country so that we know that there's people everywhere who care about the issue. It's not just in Washington, and it's not just in New Mexico. People held signs to share their concerns and embrace equality that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. fought for. The president of the NAACP says this march is not only to remember what happened 60 years ago, but to address concerns about jobs for all, higher wages coverage for all workers, demands to end police brutality and decent housing. We have to make sure that we have a coalition, and most importantly, we have to make sure that we get young people registered to vote and go out and vote, and vote for those people who best represent our concerns and priorities. The march was sponsored by Albuquerque NAACP, DPNMP, Black Caucus, and Albuquerque Veterans for Peace. Reporting in studio, Alyssa Munoz, KWT Action 7 News. Alyssa, thank you. The actual anniversary of the March on Washington is on Monday. President Biden will meet with King's family to observe it.